All right, this is number 30 in the green book, second edition quantitative. So you're given this diagram, and this is x degrees, and this is y degrees. And we know that x plus y has to give you 180. And that's because you're along a straight line, and when you have two angles divided by another line, we sum the two, it has to be 180. And they give me that x over x plus y equals 3 eighths. So let's see how I want to do this. We're trying to figure out what x is. So let's take this equation and solve it for y. y equals 180 minus x. So everywhere, everywhere there's a y in this equation, let's substitute 180 minus x. So it will be x over x plus, now what's y? 180 minus x, and that equals 3 eighths. And that would be x over 180 equals 3 eighths. And now let's cross multiply. That gives me 8x equals 3 times 180. 8x equals, that would be 0, 3 times, it doesn't look like a 0, 3 times 8 is 24. And that would be 540. So x would equal 8 divided into 540. So that would be 8 times 6 is 48 because 7 would be too much. So 8 times 6 is 48. And then you're going to do 54 minus 48. And we'll have to borrow. So that's a 4, that's a 14, that's a 6, and that's a 0. How many times will 8 go into 60? 8 times 7 is 56. So that's 56 with a remainder of 4, and 4, which would be 4 over 8, or 67.5. Now let me look at my answers for number 30. So actually, as soon as I got the 67, I could have stopped because if I look at my answers, that's the only one that has a 67 in it. There was no need to figure out what the remainder was.